Hello, my name is Richard Renault, on behalf of University Hospitals Dorset, I'm very pleased to welcome you to this groundbreaking ceremony. Thank you for making the time to help us celebrate what is a significant milestone for our local NHS and the patients we serve. Today we officially mark the start of construction of our brand new state-of-the-art facility, the Beach Building. The name won through from over 200 suggestions. The NHS loves an acronym and BEACH stands for Births, Emergencies, Critical Care, Children's Health. But the name also celebrates the fact we're a hospital by the sea and a great place to live, work and receive excellent care. This really is a groundbreaking day in many ways. Both here and at Paul Hospital we have a twin project that will be a national exemplar for better healthcare. The Beach Building will help create a hospital specialising in emergency care. The new operating theatres at Paul will help create the major planned hospital for Dorset. By combining our emergency services here and our elective services at Paul, we can deliver better care. The clinical strategy has been born out of hundreds of public meetings, thousands of hours of consultation responses, and it follows 12,500 hours of clinician time in designing these buildings. But to realise this clinical strategy, we've all had to deal with challenges, not least designing and financing a project of this size during the pandemic. Today, though, suddenly, it's all very real. It's no mean feat to deliver a project to this scale. What our trust values is teamwork, and this is a real team effort. Trust values also includes always improving. The Beach Building represents significant investment and commitment by the NHS to improve our services. It will be a modern, sustainable building using smart design to reduce energy and water and achieve a BRIAM excellent rating. What is especially pleasing about the Beach Building is it addresses some very long-standing issues. Both my daughters were born in St Mary's Maternity Hospital at Poole. They received excellent care there. However, the need for a modern maternity building has been pressing for over 20 years. Likewise, co-location with the children's services is something we've always wanted, including the NICU unit in the, in, in the building. So all of these problems will be solved with this new building. I can stand here today and give you lots of facts and figures about the building, but it is November, so I will keep them short. The building's 22,650 square metres. 115 tennis courts and a critical care unit is big enough to park 50 buses in it. The new emergency department will be larger in size than both the existing departments put together and have excellent diagnostics on tap, allowing increased consultant and specialist team cover seven days a week. This will reduce numbers of patients transferring between hospitals and put less demand on ambulances, hospital services and achieve better outcomes for patients. These improvements all fit within our wider transformation strategy. For 30 years, Dorset hasn't had major capital investments, but we're now putting that right. These investments also include many ward refurbishments, a new pathology laboratory service, upgrades to our diagnostic services, IT and other infrastructure. And at Christchurch, with charitable sport, we're planning for a new Macmillan specialist hospice. So to finish, thank you for attending today. Thank you for the teams that have got us here and I look forward to seeing you all at the Beach Building opening in 2024. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, when we do a, a topping out, we have a big bell. Hey, we just about finished. This is just the start, so I'm going to say, can we get this going properly? Can the groundbreaking commence, please?